Greg Sloan. Thanks for checking in another episode of Drum Power. Uh, we're at my facility where I teach private drum lessons called Drum Power. And I just wanted to do a quick short video here while I had a chance um, because it's been a subject that's been coming up between myself and a few of my students lately. And that is how can you get yourself to play with more confidence, not just in front of other people, but even on your own, in your in your own practice space by yourself, whether it's in your basement or in your bedroom or wherever you have your drums, how can you gain more confidence, play with more conviction, play with more, I guess passion would be the, a good word for it. So, my advice is just accept the fact that when you're starting out on this instrument and even when you've got several years under your belt with this instrument you're always going to have to accept the fact that you're going to make mistakes and that you're you're going to run into things techniques styles of music or whatever that you're not comfortable with that you're just at that moment in time not very good at and you need to stick with it you need to practice the things that you would like to do that you're not comfortable doing um, for me for the longest time when I was a young player I had a lot of friends that were playing double bass drum pedals and I didn't even have one when most of my friends were working on it themselves and they were getting really good at it and I hadn't even tried it and so for the longest time I was just like well I'm just you know gonna be a single bass drum player my whole career um, which is what I am playing on this drum set but on the drum set behind me there's a double pedal on that and I learned and this is when I was probably like 13 or 14, I was thinking I'm never gonna play double bass drum pedal um, because I wasn't as good as my friends were at the time who were also playing drums. And um, when I did finally get a double pedal a year or two later, I didn't use it a whole lot. I kind of struggled with, you know, I'm not that good at it, so I'm not having fun with it, so I'm not gonna use it too much. But what I found out after a while was when I forced myself to sit down and, and work with it a little bit, I was actually starting to get the feel for it and get the hang of it and get a lot better at it. And that's really what I wanted to make this video for is to say, don't give up on an idea or um, a style of music or certainly don't give up on an instrument even if we're not talking drums, any of you other musicians that happen to come across this video somehow, don't give up on an instrument if you're struggling with, with something in the moment. Because if you stick with it, work hard, you will be rewarded. I guarantee you that. It took me over a year to understand the feel and flow of a double stroke roll. And now, of course I've been playing a long time now, but even just a couple of years into me feeling confident with a double stroke roll, it was one of my trademark things. It was something that people would come up and ask me about. How are your doubles so strong? How did you, well, they weren't always. <laughs> In fact, they were, they were very weak when I first started out and they were very weak for a good year to a year and a half of me playing this instrument. Mostly because I was afraid to put the time in because I felt like it wasn't coming quickly for me so it would never come. But once it did click and once I did feel that it was working, it, I just took off from there. And I was able to, to get really good at it, get really comfortable really quick. So I just wanted to throw that out there spend time practicing the things that you're not good at quit worrying about the fact that you're not good at it or comfortable with it right now worry about where you're going to be with that in three months in 
six months, in one year, in two years, because it, it takes that amount of time, believe me, for most of us, to get comfortable with new techniques or new ideas. Um, not just in music, but in general. So stay with it, keep working hard. I hope this um, video is gonna help some of you when you're practicing at home. Uh, please like, subscribe, share um, these videos, and we'll see you next time. Keep rocking.